The hot topic in the NHL right now is analytics, the statistics behind the game. We're really looking at ways to drill down in our sport and, and statistically measure all the things that are happening uh, so that we have a better understanding of really how the sport is played. We're at Joe Louis Arena, home of the Detroit Red Wings, and we were lucky to have Little Caesars provide their AU Might Tea. And what we did is we put them through an exercise of cross ice hockey, half ice hockey, and full ice hockey. The kids will be wearing the, the same technology and being tracked the same way the National Hockey League tracks the NHL players. And it's in terms of puck touches, shift lengths, and, and really the exercise today is to show what the right sizing of the rink means with those metrics. Each player has a unique ID number on their RFID sticker, so we know who's coming on the ice, who's coming off the ice instantly. And this is the first time that we actually are using our technology in an amateur game, so this is kind of exciting. When the cross ice game, what I saw was a lot of body contact. Well, it's not as big, and you have to work in more tight spaces, and it's a little bit harder because everybody gets on you quicker. During the cross ice game, I stick handle through people and I shot top shelf and scored. I got to touch the puck more in cross ice. In the halfway game, what I was amazed about was the puck control, which allowed them to make short five foot puck support passes. When you open it up to the, the large sheet, to the full ice game, what you see really is one-on-one -on -one hockey. Yeah, basically it's one move, it's one bounce of the puck, and then it, it's a full ice breakaway. I didn't score in full ice because I wasn't passing the puck and they didn't pass either. Well, full ice, you, you don't get to touch the puck as more unless you're playing not a that good skilled team. Cross ice, you get to touch the puck more no matter what, and you have lots of good scoring chances. On full ice, you don't get that many scoring chances. What we're able to prove in a setting like this is that the statistics behind the game for cross ice hockey are a lot closer to what the NHL is than the full ice game at, at eight and under. I think those those small area battles are huge and cross ice really helped my development you know as a youth. As I'm sitting here watching my child play, I don't know how many times he's touched the puck. I don't have a stopwatch. I don't know what he's doing. I'm hoping he's having fun and learning and building skill. But to know that for a fact, it's reassuring. I think it's terrific. Anytime we can make decisions that are based on data, uh, that have fact behind it, I think it's fantastic. These numbers show what's good for a child. Now I think it's up to us to take a step back and say we're willing to institute programs that help kids fulfill their potential. I think that's who USA Hockey is. I think that's what we should be.